country, Prism Bangladesh is successfully treating the wastewater generated by Kumudini Hospital Complex at Mirzapur through its integrated aquaculture of duckweed farming and mixed pisciculture. This 8.3 hectare integrated aquaculture and pisciculture farm treats the wastewater generated by 3,000 people of Kumudini Hospital, Nursing School, Kumudini Girls Medical College, Bharateshwari Girls School, and other resident staffs of Kumudini Hospital Complex and cultivates duckweed based pisciculture of mixed fish species. Daily, 5,000 liters wastewater generated by Kumudini Hospital Complex is collected and pumped through an underground pipeline to an oxidation and settlement pond at one kilometer distance. For primary treatment, the wastewater is retained for sedimentation in a 0.2 hectare and 2.5 meter deep open earthen oxidation and settlement pond with clay lining for 72 hours. For secondary treatment, the wastewater from the primary sedimentation tank is transmitted into the 900 meter long, 10 meter wide and 2 meter deep meandering earthen canal plug flow of 18 million liters capacity at the rate of 500,000 liters per day. The surface of the plug flow canal is used for continuous duckweed cultivation. Generally, the wastewater plug flow maintains a depth of 0.5 meter to 1.5 meter. The water is retained here for 22 to 28 days to complete treatment. At the beginning, 25 kilograms of dark wheat per decimal is seeded uniformly on the plug system water surface. The standing duck wheat biomass doubles itself in 24 hours if the duck wheat crop is properly managed and the ideal growth condition are maintained. From the cultivation area, 30% fresh duck wheat crop is harvested daily and applied directly as feed feed to the adjacent fish ponds. Every day, an estimated amount of 500 kg fresh duckweed is being harvested from the duckweed wastewater treatment system. Because of duckweed cultivation and regular harvesting, the pollution of wastewater decreases gradually till the last bend and the water at the end of the plug flow is found clean and safe for agriculture and aquaculture irrigation. On the plug flow perimeter, fruits like papaya, banana and vegetables etc. are cultivated as scope crop for wind protection and temperature buffering which adds to the total system output hence sales revenue of the farm. The water treatment quality and transmission vector for diseases for the system was monitored by International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research Bangladesh ICDGRB for five years. No negative health effects or transmission vector of pathogen was detected in the duckweed crop, the fish product, the discharged water and among the system workers. Six to eight species of carp fishes in a predetermined number and ratio for every strata of water body are being cultivated in three adjacent ponds, 0.6 hectare and in 10 other ponds of 7.33 hectares water area elsewhere. Fresh duckweed is applied in floating bamboo containers on the pisciculture pond surface so that they may not spread all around and fishes may eat them easily from one place. In the first two months, the fishes are fed at the rate of 50% of their total body weight and at 3% of their body weight in the later months. Regularly fishing twice a week, the annual fish harvesting from the 0.6 hectares water body adjacent to the wastewater treatment system consistently is giving an output of 7 to 8 metric tons. During the last 15 years, the annual fish production of this integrated 
integrated aquaculture project at Mirzapur is sustained at more than 110 metric tons per year. The environment-friendly duckweed based wastewater treatment plant of Prism Bangladesh at Mirzapur is not only self-sustaining but also producing much needed fish protein food and generates substantial income for the community. Moreover, the fallow lands used in the treatment plant is regaining its fertility and contributing to the rural and national economy as well. The duckweed based integrated wastewater treatment and pisciculture project is designed, constructed and operated under the joint supervision of Mr. Paul Skillicorn and Mohammed Ikramullah.